Hello there folks, it's me, Edward, and today I welcome you to another episode of Adventuring with me. So today I will be taking a look at some Soviet time ruins again. This time it will be some tunnels uh, which were used as ammo storage then. But uh, don't be fooled by the name, because ammo storage, that sounds like quite boring I'd say, but uh, it's not, because uh, these are actually one of the best uh, best caves I've been to since uh, the structure there is like uh, very adventurous, I'd say. So uh, stay tuned. So I reached the first tunnel, I'll start off with a more simple one, which is just straightforward, flat and easy. Somebody's made a fire, I have no clue why. Ah oh, yeah, the caves are all smoky and stuff, so fresh air for me. And you can't see that far since all the smoke. <sighs> really, really not fresh. It's like a hot box without the benefits. Made it out the first cave, it was filled with smoke. Now I'm gonna just try to uh, make my way to all the others. Slowly getting somewhere. A sneak peek at what's to come. Yeah, that's that's rough. Just the way I like it. Seemingly nothing, but but then you close in and you start seeing the riddle behind the woods. Yep. All right, all right. So far, I went through the easier cave, which is like beginner level. And now we will move right into intermediate. So yeah, it's gonna be a blast. Here we start. Nice and slow. Ah, oh, here starts the juicy descent into nothingness. Ooh. Oh god damn. Muddy. Go 
got to be careful here. Not to make any unnecessary slips, you know. I think it's time to get the gloves on. It's getting really dirty. Yep. All right. Gloves on. So we're back at it. Okay, I see light, but it seems like one of the tightest spaces I have ever gone through. Let's hope I'm wrong. Parkour! What? Oh, did you look at that? Totally okay. Looking passage. Burnt plastic. Yeah, these things are usually trash. Ah, Darshi blows. The best cave of them all. Yes, yes, wonderful. So, I've reached my favorite cave. Why I like it so much is because it kind of has like a lake in between, if you can call it that. And uh, overall, I guess this is just the first cave that I came across the first time I was around here. And it left a really, really good impression. But yeah, nothing left to just climb on in. Here comes the venture, a hundred miles per hour. Yep, the Soviet Union, it had a lot of downsides, but one upside is they couldn't finish their shit. So what was left was structures like this for people like me to uncover, explore, adventure in. Yep, that's the little lake. It used to be a lot bigger, but I guess it's a matter of time of year. So this is basically summer already, but I have been here on at the beginning of spring, basically. And it has been a bunch weather here and a lot slippier as well. Yep, oh, such a peaceful place. Let's just uh, move onward. Ooh, yeah. So much clay everywhere. Oh, damn. So warm outside. Oh yeah. Okay, so uh, yeah. That was that was hella hella nice. It's 
slightly intense, but hella nice. Best to do it. <laughs> sure, yo. Damn. This nature is just so, uh, I don't know, ancient looking. So, uh, <laughs> the vegetation is just wonderful. This is what I imagine a jungle being like without all the tracks. Right, so most of it's already done. The caves, they're not that long, but uh, as mentioned, structure is so, so adventurous that that's the part that makes it so special. Because uh, a lot of these caves, tunnels and whatnot, they have just like a flat surface and that's about it. You go in the darkness, and you stay in the darkness. <laughs> ah, in the middle of this swampland. And the air is just so uh, moist but fresh. So fresh. Now I've covered three tunnels. And I'm not sure if there's one or two more. But we'll, we'll see soon. Alright. Quite a long walk behind. Walking back. Since uh, the last tunnel was also the furthest one. But now I made it to somewhere. And I think... Hmm, I think this is one of the ones that I didn't check before. Though this building seems awfully uh, similar to the last one. But yeah, it's a bit different. Let's see the wonders. I think this is, yeah, the other straight one. Which, uh, which then doesn't have all the fucking smoke in it, but, ah, uh, yep. Oh, shit, I put the other light away. Eh, it's okay. I mean, I don't really need to see that one. But yeah, this, this is a hell of a lot, like, I don't know. Uh, more roomy and such. The most noteworthy thing about this atmosphere here is that it's really cold. As you might expect from an underground facility like this, but uh, still really cold. The main issue with all, all these types of structures is that they usually get uh, overflown by water and then it's inaccessible, but not this one. Freedom. All right. So I made my way to the last tunnel then. So this is the one that you can't actually go inside, but uh, nonetheless, I'm just gonna show it. Goes right. Yep, but as you see, filled with water. Yep, it is what it is. Made my way back and I guess there you have it five different tunnels a bunch of ruins all surrounded by beautiful nature so if you ever get the chance definitely check it out if not the tunnels then just the nature very picturesque places here which uh, definitely would be a very very nice stroll but in other news soon enough I'll go on another trip hopefully one that will be for a wider uh, area since right now it's just in one place but uh, then it could be like uh, multiple different cool places but 
for all that, stay tuned.